then if you want to execute a service before and after a service if you want to execute before and as well as after here the given class method interceptor you just implement your class from method interceptor method interceptor here the method is i mean method return value is object and the method name is public object method name is it is invoke and method input parameter is method invocation m i throws exception so here how we can do introspection if you required your method input parameters just here method input is m i method method invocation by using this method invocation parameter itself you can get your arguments if you required your method arguments your method arguments if you required here you can get object parameters for doing introspection m i dot get arguments it will return your method arguments if you want to get your method name m i dot get method if you required your class name m i dot get class it will return your bank class reference if you required for doing introspection okay so actually here if you want to execute a code before your business after your business only for introspection this parameters will help us in case if you want to execute a service before and after logger service log service dot okay sorry log factory dot get logger bank dot class it will return us log object log dot info before deposit then here mi dot we have one proceed method call proceed then next after deposit you can write here after deposit this proceed method before code proceed method call before code will execute before your deposit then after this proceed code will execute after your deposit means first while execution from here it will execute this code first then next it will execute this code then next again it will execute this code okay here what actually it will do first it will execute the service whenever you try to call proceed it will proceed and go to this code execution the next the return value it will get here which return value integer return value it will get in the form of object so that return value it will get here this call after getting return value it will execute this code finally what we should do here we need to return same return value here to this invoke method okay this code proceed method before code after code will execute before your business after your business so you can see here same logging service execute before your deposit and after your deposit around advice by using method interceptor add iop library logger around service log around service and implement it from method interceptor you can see here here we have two method interceptors one is net.sf.cglib.proxy and org.aop alliance intercept we need to implement this aop alliance aop alliance method interceptor we need to implement here and which method we need to override the method name is invoke and here method invocation is the input parameter okay here create logger 
log factory dot get log bank class and get log reference then after that l dot info right here before deposit code call here from here mi dot proceed this proceed method will return as finally a object or return value actually from there the return value is int right that int it will type cast it into integer then that integer it will send in the form of object and finally you can call l dot info after deposit code finally return that return value log around service log around service okay now execute this one log code executing your business before deposit code log and the next executing your deposit code finally executing here your after code okay so before proceed method code executing your deposit method before after proceed method code executing after your deposit code in case if you want to execute a code before deposit you can write here if you want to execute code after deposit write here like your filters do filter method before do filter method code will execute before your servlet after do filter method code will execute after your servlets right in the same way here before proceed if you write anything it will execute before your business after this proceed if you write anything after your business it will execute and if i pass here if i pass a invalid account number 124 and if i execute what happens here it will throws before service executing but while executing your method here it is throwing one exception printing right so in case of exceptions if you want to execute any service in case of exception if you want to track that user information at what time that exception happens in log file if you want to generate exceptions actually where it will print in server console it will print in case if you want to know which user given like wrong account number and when that exception raised if you want to know in case of exceptions if you want to track user information in case if you send any invalid account number controller from controller if you send any invalid account number your deposit method what it will do it will throws one exception right deposit method if the account number is wrong here it is throwing one exception account not found exception in this case also if you want to track user information if you want to do logging in case of exceptions you can write service key you can write service key by using throws advice so in case of throws advice throws advice is a marker interface it's a marker interface log log in case of exceptions log for exceptions log for exceptions implement it from throws advice in case of throws advice marker interface means marker interfaces may contains methods but implementations not required clonable should not implement we no need to implement clone method and what about throwable uh, sorry um, thread runnable it's a marker interface but must we need to override one run method right so marker interface sometimes it may force us 
or sometimes it may not force us but it will provide some special capabilities to our methods some special capabilities it will provide so here we have one throws advice in this throws advice we don't have any method we don't have any method throws advice we don't have any method just it will make your class behavior like for exceptions it will execute it but which method it will execute here there are multiple methods which methods it will add for throws advice it will add throws advice Yeah, write these methods void after throwing one method and void after throwing yeah void after throwing with method argument and object argument tar target argument with three arguments one method with only one exception argument one method with remote exception one method with method argument object arguments and object target and finally exception one method after throwing with method argument and method input parameters and your object finally select exception so here if you see the first method first method returning method argument target and throwable subclass means your exception class it will return to us and if you so if you go through second method second method returning as only exception introspection is not possible if it returns only exception actually we are throwing one um, account number not valid exception if you implement your throws advice by using this after throwing with exception return value what you will get actually in this throws advice implementation only your exception it will send to us just we can read your exception along with your exception if you want to do introspection method input parameters class name method name return values if you required then you can go through these methods and we have one method with remote exception in case if you are making client server application if you are making client server application and if service class if service class if it is there in remote server in that case from there there is a chance to get remote exceptions means the exception need to be remote exception okay so in that case you can go through remote exception if it is servlet application if it is servlet application and if you are getting servlet exceptions in that case you can go through this servlet exception method okay just i'll go through this simple method after throwing 